guys, it's Zodi Gamer Tater here with another episode of Let's Grade Gun Reviews. Today we're reviewing the amazing Hound Dog. It's got a damage of 75, a rate of fire 360 bullets per minute, a critical chance of 9%, and I'm a capacity of 22 by 3, so it carries 66 bullets. Oh, a special that is not available! And this gun is pretty darn amazing. Yes, this gun is a uh, default weapon you get in secondary as you begin your stealth class, and it's a pretty good gun. I actually like it because it, the gold skin looks pretty darn Of course, every gold skin looks amazing, but some of them don't look good. So on with the review. Uh, this gun, it takes 15 diamonds to upgrade, and it does a lot of good stuff when you upgrade it to premium. You don't have to uh, use your coins. Yeah, I just got up too. So... We're uh, a little tired here, but we're still going to do this review. Uh, the amazing uh, Hound Dog, that's what they call it. I'm going to go ahead and single shot this guy. This gun, guy, you can use it for single shotting only. Not only, but you can use it for single shotting. It's pretty good. Uh, because the damage is a whole lot higher than that of its uh, counterpart, the uh, German broomstick gun. I don't know what it's called. I for completely forgot what it's called. But it is a German weapon. Uh, in comparison to this gun but anyways we are going to uh, still single shot this gun you can single shot or you can full auto shot full fully automatic or semi-automatic because you can also have the semi automatic option on it along with the many other stuff and the critical chance with this gun is pretty cool too oh there's a guy over there yes yeah, as you could tell you saw me uh, fully just unload on that medic it's a pretty good gun so we're gonna play another round usually make these videos a little longer than usual and uh, you know this is the weekend today is Saturday and then tomorrow is Sunday but we're uploading this as of today Saturday because we did not we had lost internet connection throughout the week during spring break but it's okay I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad to see you guys are still amazing and awesome. Really good gun. It's a pretty good gun. I like it. We have 3 minutes and 30 seconds in the game left. We're still doing pretty amazing. There you go, buddy. Okay, the headshot. Wow. Okay, just wow. Definitely a gun that you can get. But if you're starting out, keep it, upgrade it, use any gems you get from a tournament, keep it, it's great. But if you're up in the higher ranks, don't, I would not recommend using this. If you're like level 70 or level 30, use the Bridgman or uh, something better. And then from the Bridgman, you can start using the Winslow and keep growing from there. And that's also if you can uh, also have enough the nip if you have enough gems to get the vampire's badge or the Winslow SMG or the Viper's Fangs. But it all depends on you if you want to get it. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm playing these tournaments, I'm getting gems from them, and I'm saving any gems that I can get. You know, I'm trying really hard not to spend any money this year on Bless Brigade. But anyways. Um, we're doing pretty good. I would like to commend a lot of uh, viewership to this gun. Hopefully, this gun gets a lot of viewer views. Like this gun, you know, nobody uses it. I understand, but who doesn't want to review this gun? Like you have to review. Like me, I have a goal to review every gun in Blitz Brigade, including the. The, what's it called? The melee weapons. And the uh, secondary and primary weapons. Because I really want to review every gun in this game. And end off my series with just gun reviews and just ending it. And then bam. We'll start another series. Hopefully Pixagun. Because I know a lot of kiddos like Pixagun nowadays. And I got good deal. That guy ruined my kill streak. I'm going after him. The Dainty Death, I like it a lot. Okay, you can use this as a sniper weapon 
for the stealth, because it's pretty good. There you go, old Baron, or L Baron. But using this gun is not, it's not a problem. The only problem I have is with its uh, damage. I wish its damage was higher, because when I upgraded it, not, no significant damage has been raised. Like, I wish the damage was higher. Like, I wish it went from 60 to its default 60 to like uh, 80 or 85. The Bridgman was good. This gun's good. Now, there are better guns out there, like the Betty, like a secondary weapons. Um, I don't know what other guns out there. The Mimer, the M A I M E R, the Mimer, it's a good gun. Um, the, the Bridgman has to be one of the best that I, from from what I've seen. The, the Betty was good, but it's not as good as the Bridgman. The Betty, because I don't know, I reviewed the Betty, but it's not, it's okay. But you know, now if you want to get the primary weapons, went to the SMG all the way. Now, if you guys enjoyed this gun review, I'll see you guys tomorrow or whenever I upload again. So, you guys enjoy this, and as always, have a good one.